And now it's my great pleasure to introduce the leader of our partner in sustainability, Mayor Greg Robertson. With a massive shift to globalization, an ever-changing environmental landscape, and growing economic uncertainty, cities are poised to lead the world. The City of Vancouver wants to work with you to confront this global challenge. Every year, Vancouver is ranked as one of the best cities to live in, in the world. A place where all of us enjoy a wealth of natural resources have successfully hosted the 2010 Olympic Games and have grown a strong economy to support our multicultural and diverse population. But we all share a vision of being even better, even stronger, and even greener. Vancouver will be the greenest city in the world by 2020. I think it's about time we do that. That's just 10 years to change our home and convince the world to change theirs. In that short time, we can spearhead a new industrial revolution. We'll create green technologies, unprecedented job opportunities, and worldwide entrepreneurial recognition. How about we eliminate our dependence on fossil fuels? Let's bring in that zero waste garbage system. We can lay grass and trees instead of roads. And continue to drink the best tap water. And breathe the cleanest air of any major city in the world. Let's eliminate our dependence on internationally supplied food and feed ourselves with fresh and healthy local produce. Let's build a city where walking, biking, and transit get us everywhere we need to go. I want Vancouver to be the greenest city in the world. Let's become a world-renowned green paradise in just 10 short years. Not only can we do it, we are doing it. But we need your help, your ideas, your involvement. Let's talk about these changes in our city. And use them to change the world. We've waited so long. Let's talk about Vancouver's green future. Talk green. Talk green to us. Vancouver, talk green to us. Good evening, Vancouver. You ready to roll? What do you think of the video? So welcome everyone to Pachakcha's Vancouver special edition for the Greenest City Conversations. I, uh, my first job tonight, which I, I heard outside was a great night for scalpers at the door, is to say a couple of thank yous. First, uh, thank you to the Coast Salish First Nations on whose traditional territory we are gathered tonight. To UBC, our strong partners in our event, thank you John and the team at UBC, and all the rest of the sponsors for their great support to make this happen. To Cause and Effect, the producers of Pachakcha Vancouver, thanks to you guys. And all the city staff, lots of city staff who've been designing this public con conversation that we embark on tonight and right through the fall. I want to thank the wonderful staff here at the city-owned, people-owned Queen Elizabeth Theater for hosting us here tonight at a packed theater. Of course, we'll thank in advance all our presenters who've been selected from all across the community, and I'm sure we're going to dazzle us tonight. And to all of you for being here on short notice and being part of kicking this off. Thanks for coming tonight. Give yourselves a hand. Okay, we have a goal to make Vancouver the greenest city in the world by 2020. We are a green leader. We are considered to be the greenest city in North America, but we're not the world's greenest when there's a lot more that we can do. Over the past year, we've been working really hard at City Hall to take the action steps to reach that goal. We have built bike lanes, separated bike lanes through the city, the Burrard Bridge, the Dunsmuir Viaduct, the Dunsmuir... Uh, right into downtown. How many people rode their bikes here tonight? Okay, I expect that to double in the next month. We've, we've done a number of things. We're aggressively creating electric vehicle infrastructure, electric cars, electric motorcycles, scooters, electric bikes. We've approved the greenest building code in North America. We have promoted and attracted 
Green businesses through the 2010 Winter Olympics to invest and locate in Vancouver. Over $60 million of investment in the last three months into Vancouver's region. And we've launched Vancouver's first curbside compost pickup program. That's this year. So these actions were catalyzed by a group called the Greenest City Action Team, a group of community and business leaders, of academics and activists who embraced this vision for our city's future. And together, we put together an action plan to turn our vision into reality over this next decade, giving us 10 clear Greenest City goals in arenas like you might have seen in the video, flashing by green jobs, clean air and water, green transportation, zero waste, greenhouse gas emissions. We've got a long list, 10 clear goals to accomplish over the next decade, and we need to take action to achieve each of those 10 goals day by day. This is gonna take all of your help. It's gonna take everyone in the city participating, and most importantly, as we embark on this, your ideas, your creativity, and your solutions. We, I think, all understand the challenge pretty well, but we certainly have not gotten to the answers for how we are gonna do this over the next decade. So, after tonight's gathering, we're gonna hear all sorts of stuff tonight and, and kick it off, but we want you to go to talkgreentous.ca and join the online consultation, the conversation that's gonna take place to drive all this. The city has never engaged people quite this way before in a conversation, so we're really excited about how we can learn and engage people right around the city to do this. That's submitting your ideas, that's commenting on ideas, that's voting for your favorite ideas. It's, uh, it's gonna be a very creative process, but one I hope everyone can participate in. Tonight, uh, through this process, city councillors and key staff members are part of it. They're here to listen and learn and gather information. They'll be engaged on the discussion online as well. Many of them are here tonight. They, like myself, are wearing big green buttons that say, talk green to me. Stand up, councillors, city staff, house lights on, and let's recognize the folks who are gonna be driving it at City Hall. Uh, <laughs> Councillor Reimer, Councillor Cadman, Councillor Deal. All right, that's the team that's leading the charge at City Hall. Tonight, for this special edition of Pecha Kucha, we've asked some very esteemed presenters to talk green to us. And starting tonight, over the next few months, you'll all have an opportunity to talk green to us online as well. So I'm really looking forward to tonight's conversation. I'm really looking forward to the many actions that ensue from us and make us the world's greenest city by 2020. Have a great evening. Thank you for coming. Thank you, sir.